Okay, today we're going to be looking at the headstock. We're going to be fitting the, the pegs and, and finishing the nut. Um, this is just a piece of bone I bought from a pet shop. Um, so it's already been boiled and cleaned out and sterilized. Um, so I just, I've just i sliced the piece off um, and now I'm going to cut this to size and then sand this down. I've sanded it to close to the right thickness but we do, we will, we'll fine tune it um, but we'll put it on the instrument. Just a fraction of half a millimetre over there, half a millimetre over there. Um, now I'm trying my best to keep the square at this point um, and, but slightly beveled on that side. Um, once I've got it in, then I'm going to bevel it again backwards towards the headstock. You can get quite a nice polish on bone. Use a fine pencil to mark on exactly what needs to come off. We don't want to take too much off. Um, with the, with the neck, I've done this at 20, just under 25 millimeters wide, just under an inch wide. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slightly reduce the the size from nine millimeters, probably to around about eight, maybe 8.1, but just just fractioning over eight. Um, that's all within uh, playability. It's just a small scratch line on each side, and the center one. Now I'm going to use needle. What I'm going to do now is use some needle files to start my cut. I'm going to choose um, one with a, a very fine point. This is just to start the initial cut. It's just something I can rest on that knife cut, and it's just going to start the initial mark for me. I was a more rounded bottom one. To um, this is it's got a nice rounded bottom. It's an oval, but rounded at the bottom. And I use this to start the slot. Now I'm not. So I rested it again in the in the space I just made. And at this stage, I'm really just sort of deepening the slots. I'm nowhere near the level that I need to be at, so I don't have to worry. I just make it more visible. Okay, now I've got the string positions marked on. What I'm actually going to do now. I actually, what I normally do now is actually use uh, these are actual fret files, um, and I I use these to deepen the slot. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to file the slot at an angle so that it, so that the string is guided towards the back. Um, what we're going to use once we've got this on now, we'll. We'll actually take um, bone from the bottom if we, when we come to actually size this for the strings. We'll actually take off, rather than taking off from the top, we'll, we'll take off from the bottom. Uh, but we'll leave this in at the moment until, we, until we're at the stringing stage. If it's all possible, try to get a hold of um, tuners that have wooden, plastic or, or small heads. This is ideal because this is much lighter in weight. You find that the the tuners that are all metal, for example, these two, these these can be quite substantial, feel much more heavy at the, the peg end. Um, and just by have just by changing to to a smaller head, that saves a lot of weight. Um, but it, again, it depends what your music shop has. If you know if you have to use standard strut tuners, that will be fine. But you, um, you may be able to buy separate heads for them at some point from some places. Um, but do try and look out for these small ones. Now I do have a template that I use, um, but this is only a general guide. I do sort of um, adjust the, the fit on every one to make sure it fits the it fits the headstock, um, mainly because I do vary the, the width of the fingerboard. So this is only my rough guide. Um, we just eyeball it to make sure that the is clear of the sides. This one's so the final machine peg, which is on the smallest piece of wood. It's basically almost central. I've almost got it central. Uh, so there's wood on either side, so the hole will be supported. So you're not weakening the headstock by having a hole too near the edge. 
um, say for example you've got a soft cedar or a soft mahogany then you can make the you can make the hole um, midway like um, this is like 9.76 millimeters so you would make the hole midway and then that would be a nice push fit um, the wood I'm using I think is quite hard so it's not like to dent so I, I would go for almost um, I think it's almost a metric almost looking at 10 millimeters really now to secure the the headstock while while we're drilling it can be quite tricky um, so what I'm going to do because we, we're going to do this on the bench drill I'm going to position this in the correct place on here and I'm basically going to glue on these support pieces um, to make a wedge sort of fit um, so I, I place the point on the place I want to drill now holding it in position we then clamp up other side okay I'm then able to draw Repeat the same for the other holes. Okay, all we need to do now is pull out the wedges. the masking tape that protected our head. Now if we were fitting these type with the screw holes you need to mark on where the head is going. It needs to be in the same line so so that so each one it's in line there. Um, so if you mark on where it needs to go and if you use a braddle or, a, or a, an awl to make a hole to mark for the hole you need to then you can either pre-drill it, pre-drill the hole with a, a millimetre or one half millimetre bit for the screw or alternatively you could use uh, another steel screw uh, to make the initial hole and then screw it in. Now the next, uh, because I'm using a different make, um, the make I'm using has the two pins so the way I do this one and the way I'm going to do, these, these are Wilkinson brand, I, the way I'm going to do this Put them on first, and then I'm going to so I'm going to put them on first. And then what I will do, I will loosely tighten up the, the retaining nuts. Um, it's just the first fit. I make sure these are right around the right way. Um, and when you've decided that you've got it and that's the position you want then you can tighten up a little bit more and if you see from the side you can see where the pins uh, need, will be going into the wood if we tighten this up a little bit more it will press and leave a mark and those marks are the ones we're going to use to, to enlarge ok that's all fitted and we just need to tighten up. So we just need to make sure we put the washers on the right way around. The one side they're slightly more rounded. Um, and then we just use a spanner to tighten up. So there we are.